Hi guys! Okay, today I want to do a story time finally. I've been looking for a story to do this whole time and haven't been able to figure out what I wanted to talk about. And then the other day it dawned on me about something I've been really wanting to talk to people about like publicly that I never had a chance to do. Something that happened to me like seven years ago um, that just kind of shook up my whole world. My whole world kind of showed me, showed me where my belief system was, everything like that. And so yeah, let's talk about what happened. So about seven years ago when my oldest daughter was six, seven months old, we were visiting my dad in Georgia for Thanksgiving. Always fun, you know, we go up there all the time. We, we drive, it's like a seven hour drive. It's fine, whatever. So when we left, we we left from my in-laws house and they always prayed for us and you know send us on a good trip. We were actually supposed to take my car at the time, it was like a 99 Camry little car. And they said, no, take our van. We had this nice Honda van, you know, it was like, great, you know, better for the baby. Got to Georgia, safe, no problems, you know, had a a good smooth ride, the baby was fine. Fast forward a few days later when we're leaving. So getting caught up with the family, we left a little later than you were supposed to. It's a seven hour drive, you know, so you wanna kinda of leave in the afternoon and get home. Time for bed. So we left and 20 minutes into our ride, me and my husband get into like some big ridiculous argument. Don't remember why, don't remember what it was about, but a couple of minutes after we had just kind of like cooled our jets on that argument, we got pulled over by the cops. Yay! So we got a ticket and, you know, I stopped for a second and I was like, we forgot to pray on the way out. Let's pray. I'm not a religious person, but I do believe in prayer. I do believe in, you know, you know a higher power, whatever you want to call it. I believe in those things and sending good things out into the universe and just there's many names for that. So we took five seconds out, we prayed, and we went right on our way. Great, right? Okay. So we prayed, a couple of hours went by, nice smooth ride. We stopped at a rice stop. My husband's like, you know, I'm tired. It's like 12 in the morning. And he's like, I'm tired. Can you drive for me for an hour? And I'm like, sure, yeah, I'm alert. You know, I try to stay up while he's driving on the road anyway. So I'm like, yeah, I can do this, that's fine. You want me to drive for an hour? So we stop at the rest stop and I come back from going to the bathroom and he's like doubled over in the, in the seat, just knocked out. And I'm like, okay, he doesn't have a seatbelt on. So I'm like, do I wake him up? Do I make him upset with me because I woke him up? You know, he's waiting two minutes. And I was like, safety first. So I get him to buckle up, he's fine, whatever. So we drive. And about 30 minutes into the drive, I just kind of remember feeling like drowsy, I guess. I don't know. I just didn't feel like, I don't, I don't know. It was dead on the road, it was two lane highway, dark, just all you see is forever trees, just trees, just trees. So a few minutes later, I realized that my husband is telling me to get control of the car because I'm literally he's scraping the side of those little half concrete wall things. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm not used to this. So I literally overturn the wheel trying to like just, you know, figure out which how to get away from this wall. Just just completely out of it. Just not like I'm just like, what the heck? Like just trying to get control. So I, I guess when I overturned the wheel the last time, we did a 360 flip into the side ditch in the end of the highway. And in that moment, I just remember being like, oh my gosh. And then I heard the huge crash. I feel water rush into the car and I feel like, I feel like my whole body getting wet. And I just hear all this noise. And all of a sudden we're upright again. I get out of the car and I'm like crying, screaming, like, oh my God, my baby. And like, I'm trying to get to the back seat. All of a sudden there's a man next to me. He's like, oh my God, we saw the car. We saw y'all lose control. We called the cops, we called the ambulance. 
you know, we saw everything happen. And I'm like, what? I'm like my baby, my baby. I'm trying to get her out of the car. And then all of a sudden the ambulance were there. Now I'm, I know my concept of time at the moment probably was a bit off, but all of those things seem to have happened within one minute of themselves. I got out of the car, this guy standing next to me, his family in his car behind us, freaking out because we're alive and they just saw us flip off the road, like legitimately flip off the road. So the ambulance come and he's like, they're like snatching us up and neck brace and snapping us to the gurney. And I'm just like, my baby, I need to be my baby. They separate all of us. I, I'm not sure if my husband went in another ambulance with the baby, but I don't remember being with her. And I was just freaking out, obviously. So finally we're in the, we're in the hospital. So it must be like two o'clock in the morning at this point. And I just remember like thinking my whole time, like, where's my baby? She was still breastfed at that time. So I'm like, she's probably starving. She's probably with these people she doesn't know. I don't see my husband. I'm just like, they had me in one of those like curtained areas by myself. So finally a doctor comes in and is like, oh, you know, we checked you, you guys are okay. Um, you know, everything's fine. They're like, the baby's fine. We're gonna bring her in a minute. When I came to like understanding like, okay, everybody's fine. Like my heart was like light again. And I looked down and I just, you know, I have like little scratches on my hand, little bloody scratches on my hand. Um, I think they bandaged me up. I have like a little tiny nick, not like even a cut really, just like a little right here. Like almost like I burned myself with a straightener. And I had my twist and I had glass all through my hair and then my gown was just, Every time I like moved my head, just glass was just coming out, like grains of, of rice sized pieces of shards of glass. So they brought me my baby and I'm expecting her to just be white with terror, just not know what the heck's going on. She is happy as a clam, just so happy. She's sitting there with the nurse and the nurse is trying to feed her a bottle of formula and she's like, what is this? Like, but she saw me, she was fine. I really couldn't touch her because I was covered in, I was like, at that point I was like becoming covered in glass. And then they called my in-laws to tell them what happened and tell them we we're okay and see if they could pick us up. Thank God they were able to pick us up. We were all the way in Jacksonville and they live in Orlando, so it was like a two hour drive for them to drive. And um, by the time they got there, it was morning. So they probably called them around five o'clock in the morning, four or five o'clock in the morning. And they came and picked us up and they're just like, are y'all okay? Like, oh my gosh, you know, I couldn't even sleep. My, my father-in-law was like, I couldn't sleep. I was praying, like, all for you. Like, I was worried, whatever, whatever. He's like, thank God y'all are okay. He did not care that the car has been towed at this point. Like, 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 I was like in tears. Cause I'm like thinking to myself, like, okay, I'm okay. But now I've destroyed your property. Like, that's what I was thinking in my head. Like, oh my God, like, how do you even like, I don't know. So, yeah, my husband, he was okay. He had about the same injuries as me. Um, we did find out later that I guess he had a herniated disc from being kind of like thrown around in the car, but he was fine. A few scratches, minor scratches. Baby, my daughter was absolutely unscathed. Like, she didn't have a scratch on her. She didn't have a piece of glass on her. She was untouched. And I always say, like, angel wings must have been around her car seat because we came out wet, dirty, covered in glass, just nasty. She, you know, we had scratches on us, cuts and scrapes, and she was untouched. So then we go to the junkyard to see car the condition of the car because I really I'm just like I don't remember anything that happened and we go to the junkyard and the junkyard is got the, the van sitting there so I look at the van and I could not find the pictures that I took I really wanted to insert the pictures because when you look at the pictures I can't even understand how we got out alive so I'm just like okay the top part of the van was completely like indented in like this way from when we flipped. It just, this whole part of the roof was just like this. All the windows, you know, vans have like a thousand windows around. Every single one was shattered, completely out, shattered. And then when we went to get our stuff out of the van, because that's where we were going to go see it, just to get our luggage and our belongings out of it, all of the glass 
was covering every surface on the inside of the pan. Like it was ridiculous. It was like literally like they just somebody busted in all the windows all the way around the car. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking at the car and I'm looking at my hand and I'm like, I got out of this car with literally no like no injury basically because I could have broke my neck. I could have whiplash, like nothing. And we flipped over. So I just I just I don't know. I I was shocked. My husband was shocked. I was happy my baby was safe. My husband was safe. Everybody was safe. But to this day, I'm just like I have to thank God. I have to thank you know whatever that higher power is. I like to call it. I like to call that higher power God. Whatever your belief is, and that it it took us and it just kept us alive because I know people that have gotten in a lot slower crashes because you got to think I'm on the highway it's going at least 60 miles an hour and people have been in 30 mile an hour crashes and have not made it and things like that so that was just a story time about a time where I it was a very significant traumatic event in my life that I was blessed to come out of and you know it's, it's just shocking. So, I hope you enjoyed my story time. I will have more coming. Um, let me know what y'all want me to talk about because I'm like sitting here this whole time. I've had this YouTube for like a month now and I'm like, what do I do for story time? I really want to tell something. And I'm like, I don't feel like I was very interesting in my youth, so I don't know what to talk about. But if y'all have some questions about something y'all like to hear story time on, go for it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.